with these ordinances on the books, now we just can't walk away and say we can't do anything because we can. Yeah, Camel police officer wants to protect pets and the city could have new rules in place soon. Well, to help. City council members are trying to tackle blighted homes in Camel. Now, but they say many instances of housing violations also involve pets living in poor conditions. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us about a new approach from council. These are just some of the images Camel police have encountered when they've been called to check on abandoned or mistreated dogs or other animals. It's prevalent. It's ongoing. Officer Jim Conroy handles most of the abuse cases for the department and tells me instances of mistreatment often go hand in hand with blight. Every one of these that I come up on that have been there for a while, there's rat holes. Uh, the property is, is very um, dilapidated. We're attacking blight very aggressively. Council President George Lavenda says it's enough of a problem that council is expected to meet later this month to give final approval to a new ordinance requiring pet owners to provide proper shelter from the elements. People just putting these animals in these, you know, four by four basically containers and thinking that suffice for the dog to live in those kind of conditions. City Council approved a no tethering law in Camel a year and a half ago. It states that owners can't simply tie their dogs up outside all year round. Officials tell me that this new regulation would take that a step further. The ordinance would require animals have at least 600 square feet of space with a protective fence or wall between six and eight feet high and adequate shelter from the weather. The rule also requires animals be brought indoors when temperatures fall below 35 degrees or climb above 85. Violators could be charged with misdemeanors and fined or have their animals seized. This puts the ability in our hands to take action. If approved, the new ordinance would go into effect in 30 days. In Camel, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.